Hi, and welcome to Wendy Ray's Idol Recap. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm having a really bad hair day today, so just um, get over it and just leave it. I'll probably be messing with it a lot because I'm all freaked out about it, but just ignore it, okay? And look, I got a background. Aren't you excited? So you don't have to look at my stupid blinds. So that's pretty exciting as well. So last night we saw the Top 9 Results Show, and um, they started out with a group performance which is a little too much to have three guest stars and a group performance. I thought it was a little over the top, but that's what they decided to do. I actually liked the group performance. I thought it was really fun, and I thought uh, uh, the uh, contestants did a really great job. I loved the little medley um, of music, and um, yes, they're lip syncing. That's an absolute given, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. This is not the competition, and I don't mind them lip syncing because I think it's fun to just watch them up there having a good time. And I usually don't like the group number, so I'm glad I actually liked this one. Next up was the Ford video, and I thought this one was really cute. I liked the little kaleidoscope thing. I think it went really well um, with the whole uh, Linda McCartney theme, so I thought that did really well, and so that was kind of fun. Then they get to the results. So first up, they start a group with Siobhan moving to the middle of the stage. And then we find out it's basically going to be all the girls. So they bring down Crystal and then Katie. So the three girls are standing there and my son is yelling, Mom, it's Katie! Mom, it's Katie! And I said, no, it's not. It's not Katie. This girl did too good to be in the bottom three. She does not deserve that. She deserves to one time be safe sitting on those couches. And uh, uh, I, he kept telling me it's going to be Katie. So Crystal, she goes over and sits on the couches and next it's Siobhan and Katie. And Ryan, in his goofiness, says, one of you is going to be safe and the other one is also going to be safe. And sends them both over to the couches and I get to say, I told you so, I told you so. I love to be right. It's just so much fun, especially when it's my kids. So then um, they uh, announced that Adam is going to be the guest uh, host or the guest uh, mentor the following week. And I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I had heard about it earlier on Facebook, but I was pretty excited about that. I love Adam. He was one of my favorites. But it looked like Katie was going to wet her pants. She was so excited about Adam being there. So I thought that was kind of fun um, as well. All right. Then they have a guest singer. Um, I can't remember his name, and I apologize for that, but I loved him. He's the guy that Kara signed, and I thought he was great. I loved um, his voice. I loved his performance. Um, you know, he was got a smooth dancing groove going on. I'm kind of Michael Jackson-ish. I mean, not half as good as Michael, of course, but really very good. I was really impressed with him, and I don't listen to that kind of music, so I, I liked it a lot. And uh, it was also fun to see the judges kind of give him a little bit of a critique, so that was fun. I've always been voting for that all along. Long. So instead of going back to the results, they decide to bring on another guest star, which is David Archuleta. Now, I love David. Um, David Cook was my favorite that season, but um, I did like David Archuleta. And it was fun to see him come out and sing Imagine Again. I think he did an excellent job with it. But what was up with his hair? Was he trying to do like a Beatles thing with that bowl cut? That was ridiculous. Um, I didn't like it at all, but I guess he did, and so that's fine. I think it made him look like he was 12 years old. I'm just saying. All right, so David's done. They finally get back to their results, and Ryan announces that he's going to put them in two groups. Uh, those six boys into two groups. Three are going to be going home, and three are going to be uh, three are going into the bottom three, and three are going to be uh, safe. So he starts building his groups by first calling down Lee, who and I wrote it down what he said. Um, he said, uh, Ryan said, "Do you feel like you have it?" And Lee said, "Oh yeah, I totally do." What happened to the worry ward? Now he's Mr. Confident. That was pretty cute. Um, I'm going to admit that. So Lee goes over to one side of the stage, and uh, next up is Big Mike. And so I think, well, this is going to tell if I was right yesterday on my prediction of the bottom three. And Big Mike goes to the other side of the stage, and I said, you know what? It's going to be exactly as I said it was. Because I wasn't worried about Aaron and Andrew. I knew they were going to be in the bottom three. I just wasn't sure about Big Mike. And so once Big Mike is away from Lee, I knew I had it right. Casey's up next. He goes over and hangs out with Lee. And then they bring over Aaron, which of course goes to stand with Big Mike. And then next is Tim Urban. Now this is where I was thinking I could be wrong. They could put Tim over with um, Aaron and Big Mike, but they didn't. He was over there with the good group, which I knew all along it was going to be. And I was really excited about that because he deserved to not be in the bottom three this week. And so I was really proud of that. And then of course, Andrew goes over and joins Mike and Aaron. 
Now they ask Ellen to say, based on the performances, which one do you think is going home? And she says, you know, it's got to be the group with Big Mike and Aaron and Andrew. And she's absolutely right. But boy, putting her on the spot like that made me feel really bad for her because it's hard to do that. I mean, I'm sure that they've grown to love all of them. So that was probably pretty difficult. Then he does announce that that group is the bottom three. And again, I get to say, told you so, told you so to my son who um, apparently goes, ha, 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 mom, go away. Then they have to send one of them back to safety. Well, they decide to send Aaron over to the couches. And I about completely fell out of my chair because I had basically told everybody that I thought Aaron was the one going home. And I think a lot of you thought that as well. So then my son gets to say, you were wrong, you were wrong. And so I got to be wrong and that was a little irritating. Then I got a text from my mother who said, you were wrong, you know, really, come on now. I mean, I don't rub it in when I'm right, very much anyway. But they sent Aaron back. And um, then they have a, now another guest star, Rihanna. And um, you know what? She's really very pretty. I mean, she was rocking that cat suit. I wish I could do that. I mean, I, if I put it on, people would throw up, which is really sad. But she looked so good. Oh, she looked great. Um, I wasn't excited about the performance. I think she's got a beautiful voice. But that's just not my type of music. Uh, you know, none of that really is. I'm kind of more of a classic rock girl. I like uh, give me some sticks or some Def Leppard or some Boston. I love all that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, for the most part, it was a very entertaining performance from her and she looked really, really good. So now it's time to get to the final results. They bring back both of the guys and pull them out on the stage. And then Ryan has to talk about the two fathers, which breaks my heart because you know, that's right. These two guys are both daddies that have got to support their children. And then it made me feel even worse. But once he put his hand on Andrew's shoulder and said, you are safe. I mean, I, 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 I yelled a bad word at the TV. I won't tell you what it was, but I felt terrible. I mean, you know, I told you that Mike would probably be in the bottom three uh, because, you know, I, I thought that he had disconnected from his fans a little bit, but I didn't think there was any way he would be the bottom of the barrel. I mean, that was shocking to me. It was really, really shocking to me. Now, I was pretty sure that they would save him, but it was still a little bit shocking to me. He sang beautifully. Uh, for his save song. And uh, then, of course, the judges saved him, as we all thought. I I'm going to tell you, his family was really very precious when he was all, when they saved him, all jumping around, hugging each other, excited. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, I will tell you, you know why I told you yesterday. I think that the reason that he was going to be in the bottom three was, you know, not only because of his performance, but because of that video that they showed before, because they didn't put him in a very positive light. And I don't think that was very fair to Big Mike. And if I would be Big Mike, um, I would be very, very irritated at the fact that the producers put me in that light because I think that that was part, not all, but part of the problem of why he was at the bottom of the barrel this week, which is really sad. However, they saved him, so it's all water under the bridge, right? And we move on. Next week, we get to see the top nine perform again. However, two people go home. I'm excited to see Adam Lambert as their mentor, and I think that's the perfect mentor for an episode where we're going to lose two people. So I can't wait. I hope you can't either. Um, guys, I, I'm on Facebook. You can uh, uh, search Wendy Ray. I'm on Facebook. Love to be your friend. I'm also on Twitter now. I just opened my account, um, and that's Wendy Ray Reviews. So I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to be friends. Please feel free to comment, email, whatever. It's all on my channel. Um, thank you so much for wa watching. Hugs and make it a great day. Bye-bye.